So what we are observing today in the month of March is that the food price index has increased to 159.3 points, which is an increase of 17.9 points with respect to February. This is the highest historical level of the food price index since 1990 when it was first launched. And this is mostly because of cereals and because of vegetable oils. And what this means, it means that Ukraine and Russia Federation are key exporters of cereals, 30% of cereals in the world, and they export around 63% of sunflower to the world, which is all the seeds. So that's the reason why the food price index is increasing. So there are several effects of the, of the war in Ukraine. The first is what is happening inside, and the people in Ukraine which are losing food security, the people which are being displaced, which are right now more than 4 million people, which are also being affected. And then there, there is the effect on the world because of the increasing prices at the levels we are observing today in cereals, especially in wheat and maize, not yet in rice because rice we have very good supplies. Uh, that means that people which are the poorest, which their expenditure depends on food, the biggest share of their expenditure, uh, will be the mostly affected. And the countries that import, used to import from Ukraine, around 50 countries import 30% of their cereals from Ukraine and Russia Federation, and of those, 26 uh, import 50%. But there is one more effect, which is very important for us, which is the access to fertilizers. And outside of the prices of food, the prices of fertilizers have been going substantially up. And why is this so important? Is because it will affect the production of the next season. And that's what we are really concerned.